The name of the project Talasse comes from the sea. The word Talasse means something which pertains to the depth of the sea. The focus of the project is to rethink the protective mask. We have been using protective masks for more than a year now, and as we all seen, we using mostly masks which are medical products which are brought to a very extended use and for which the products were not designed. One thing that uh, really interested us was to explore how uh, we as uh, humans live in an environment which can be uh, very aggressive and sometimes uh, we need additional devices in order to cope with this sort of environment. A medical device like a surgical mask is something which is not beautiful, is not very functional to be worn the whole day, uh, doesn't match with your clothes uh, and doesn't match with the city itself. Much of our work and our previous projects are focused on the idea of how medical devices can be rethought as fashion product or art pieces and so how a medical device can go beyond itself, beyond the functionality, to incorporate many other elements of meaning. One of the inspiration for it was looking at marine organisms. Jellyfish or corals filtrate the water through the features of their own body in order to extract the nutrients. And at the same time, they use the same feature to hide and camouflage themselves within the marine environment. So we wanted to embed into this product these uh, two aspects. On one end, the functionality, the capability of filtrating the environment through the use, in this case, of digital additive manufacturing, and at the same time, showcasing how an object that has actually functionality, which is protecting yourself, like having uh, to uh, cope with an aggressive environment could also be a means of expressing yourself, could also be a feature that you show and you're proud of. What is interesting of uh, wearable products which are closer to fashion or the arts uh, is the fact that they relate to identity and they relate to notions such as beauty or the perception of the object, all the feelings that uh, uh, we feel when we look uh, and we wear those products. We believe that as the pandemic is changing the world, also our identity is reflected in what we wear every day are affected by that. So we started with this project within the Reframe network to partner up with other collaborators to engage with this idea. We, we felt that the project was very contemporary because it engages with something that we deal with every day and we thought that there were a good uh, substrate in the network to work together collectively on this uh, issue and try to come up with something new. The ability of filtrating the air and the environment through structure is generally very difficult to achieve with just a simple garment. Therefore, uh, we had to implement technology within the garment in order to do so. And by using PolyJet 3D printing, which was provided by Stratasys, we were capable of adding structure to the garment by depositing layers and layers of uh, 3D printed material onto a garment. We had carried out some thermal studies with uh, one of our partner, EMPA. The way we tried to do that was to uh, map functional requirement of a human hand. And through these studies, we tried to customize and improve the layering of the different patterns on top of the mask. Overall, this was a very complex and articulated process that embeds both cutting-edge technology and traditional uh, tailoring techniques. So in that sense, uh, the scope of the project goes beyond uh, the object itself, but it's really a reflection on how our lives are transformed by the pandemic and by all the events of these years. As we develop this specific, there may be more to come. So eventually the thalassic mask may be just the one step of a much wider ecosystem of products. In the collaboration with uh, Filippo and Vincenzo, uh, we researched uh, 
uh, different solutions uh, for the urban mask. One of the points say, of the material research was to understand the, the capacity for flexible materials and how are we able to interact with anonymity while also giving the facial expression uh, through the, the, the design of the mask. With this uh, question, the, the total equilibrium and, and the fact that also during this period of the pandemic, uh, we lose our identity. We're not allowed to use fashion uh, to differentiate ourselves outwards because everybody sits in their home, in fact, and, we're masking the fashion expression by masking ourselves and then we discover the humanity. And, and what I read in, in the photo shoot is that we finally are able to celebrate the humanity by masking the differentiation. For this project, we have done literature survey to explore in details how head region is contributing to thermal sensation and comfort perceived by the wearer of the mask. Well, Vincenzo and Filippo have been working with the other tech partners to try to 3D print the mask. On our side, we have been working together to try to cast this mask with the most simple technology available so that we can make it achievable and attainable for the biggest audience possible. I think it is very important to take the other point of view and to try to see this object as a fashionable object. And in the end, hopefully an object that we can like, love and wear with pride. It was interesting to see the development of this collaborative approach. The process of co-creation, including different disciplines, requires openness from each participant. It's very much about learning from others and including different perspectives in order to research and create something completely new. For me, the outcome of this project is symbolic for the multi-layer approach of combining art and technology.